And today, not only are you gonna learn how to use a green screen, but you're gonna learn how to edit with one. Okay, lights, camera, and action. What's up guys, Sean here. And if you're new to the channel, then thanks for stopping by. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can get more videos like this. If you're returning because you've already subscribed, well then, thanks. So this video is gonna be broken up into three parts. What you need, how to shoot, and how to edit. For the what you need section, I'm gonna have links below in the description to help you guys get started. There are my affiliate links and it will help support my channel if you guys use them. So let's just jump right into this. The first thing you're gonna need is a green screen, of course. And this isn't some magical piece of fabric, it's really any fabric or cloth that's green. There's tons of options out there, just remember to get one that's neon green, preferably non-reflective and wrinkle free. And if you're not gonna have any help and won't be putting this up on a wall, you also need some stands to hang your green screen up. Remember, if you're gonna use stands, you'll also need some clamps onto lighting. I really do recommend using a pair of lights to light your green screen separate from the rest of your environment. Having a nice evenly lit green screen makes a huge difference when you're in post. Now, how to shoot. First, set your green screen up and light it properly. When lighting your green screen, avoid creating any hot spots separating your lights from your green screen. Try to have them a foot or two away the idea is to get an evenly lit screen so that there is only one shade of green across your entire green screen. Next, have your subject step away from your green screen. I'd recommend at least two or three feet away. This will help so that your subject won't cast any shadows on the screen itself. Optional but recommended, have a light behind and off to the side of your subject. This will help highlight your subject and separate them from the green screen. And finally, just light your subject so that you're happy with the way your shot looks. Once you're done filming, it's time to jump into the editing portion of this tutorial. You can key in just about any piece of video editing software, but I'm gonna open up my weapon of choice when it comes to video editing, Adobe Premiere. All right guys, so here I am in Adobe Premiere. I already have my video files imported and I already created my in and out point. Now, if you don't know how to use Adobe Premiere at all and you're a beginner, then head on over to the link that I'm gonna have pop up above. That's a beginner's guide to Adobe Premiere. It explains everything from A to Z and how to get a basic edit going. With this clip selected, which is my green screen clip, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this video file onto the second layer of my timeline. Now with that in here, I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop what I want my background layer to be, which is this file here. You're not gonna be able to see it because this is on top of this layer. All right, so now we gotta work on keying this green screen out. Simple, to do that, head on over to Effects, type in Ultra Key, drag and drop that to your green screen layer and we're good so now with this layer selected make sure you have effects selected up here and now you have this ultra key option go ahead and click this eyedropper tool here and select anywhere on this uh, green screen here so i'm going to go ahead and select here and as you can see you can still see some artifacting here to fix that all you're going to do is head on over to composite alpha channel and you can see the green screen here. You're gonna to wanna to have that be completely black. It's simple. To do that, head on over to matte generation. And these are some settings here. You're just gonna to wanna to toggle some of these and try to get this as black as possible while this area here, your subject, is white. So I'm gonna start off with the highlights and I'm just gonna decrease them down to zero. And I'm also gonna change the pedestal amount to just about here, about 61 or so. So I'm gonna change the alpha channel back out to composite. And now I've composited myself onto this green screen without any problems. Now you can see that I still have some lights and you can see the edge of the green screen. It's simple to get rid of that. First thing you're gonna do is change your screen size to 10%. Head on over to the opacity and you're just gonna create a little mask basically removing you from there. And then let's have a look and see how this plays by clicking space. So guys, that is really how simple it is to remove a green screen or to key a green screen in Adobe Premiere. All right guys, that is it for this tutorial. Did you find it helpful? If you did, drop a comment below and let me know. If you know anybody that could benefit from watching this, then share it with them. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.